to leave the other spot. Too many white bullhead catfish. I uh, already took a couple pieces of the eel. Uh, we're trying to catch a sturgeon, not a catfish. So we moved. We're in another spot on the bank. And again, we're balance beaming. Um, here's what it is. See a U-bolt, you know, welded on some uh, 3 8 rod. And look at it, it's it, uh, the reason we're doing this, it's at uh, mid-height. You can set that hook without bending over and or pulling it out of a rod holder. So you actually gain a second or two on the hookup thing. So, and that's what it's all about. So, um, um, unfortunately this is a private property bird club. You cannot come here. Throughout, we're gonna kick it and wait for the rod to do a suicide bite, I hope. So, we'll be back. Well, we're actually ready to go. And what do you know? Yeah. Got the bite that I wanted. Good this one, too. Piece of fish, yeah, this is a good fish. All right. Cool. Peeled a lot of line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's just sitting out there hanging out, going slow. Mmm. Good fish. Yep, sign of a large fish. For a large sturgeon, anyway. Oh yeah, cool. Wow. And uh, what rod are you using now? I'm using e Daiwa VIP. They're salt great. One. I own another E glass. I've caught hundreds of sturgeon on it. I tell you, and never had a problem with it. Also had the pole for almost 20 years. That's why I've got so many fish. On it. Uh, it's my understanding they bought Fenwick blanks. You know, they bought out Fanwick and then used their blanks, the E-Glass uh, series, so. Um, that's what I was told. <laughs> oh, this is a big fish, fish. I, uh, I hate to say it, it's a you know what, oh yeah. my God. Look at it go. It's an oversizer for sure. Look at that line. <laughs> it's an oversizer, look at his rod. Hear it? Oh. Oh man, I hate that tree right there. Yeah, these are the days you wish that you were trees. in the boat. That trees, yeah. But it's okay, if you have a lot of line, you play it out right, hopefully you can horse and steer this fish. Yeah. And then work some line in them, get them closer on in, yeah. but sometimes it's all you can do. Let's play her out. Still got plenty of line. Slow down, stop running. Yeah, and so. you can steer them. That's what I'm uh, trying you know, to do a little bit now. I'm yeah. gaining on them. A lot of people don't but, think hey, come that. this way. I mean, if he's like Gigantor, yeah, maybe not, but we've turned him around. Oh, that is a solid fish. Uh, man. Oh, Skeeters are out. Yeah, well, we'll bear with that for now. We were literally ready to go, so. Yeah, we're going to reel in in a couple minutes. Turn around. Whoa, I hear it going Pull again. Pulling down, yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Right on the turn of the tide. Yeah. Just started going out. Glad for you. Oh yeah. What's the meal? Yeah, they're liking that a lot right now. God, I think this is a really big one. <laughs> yeah. We've got our share of oversizers right here too, so it's not surprising, but. That way. Oh yeah, that's a large fish. And they usually go the other way. Oh, in there time. he goes. He's coming in. Oh, keep the pressure on. Oh, well, John knows what he's doing. I get a little uh, excited for him. I want to take a peek at it anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's out there. Now, if he's real big, we're not bringing him, you know, onto the bank. We'll have to show him right here. Exactly. The we'll, uh, yeah, we've got a little gullyway right here, which is quite convenient for us. Actually, it's a small levee break, which isn't good in the long term, but we'll utilize it to bring the fish in if it's an oversizer. So we can take a peek at it without removing it out of the water. Oh, we're back, and he's still fighting that fish. 
It was taking a line, but yeah, you're gaining on it. I did, and then it took it all out again. Now I'm bringing it in a little by little. Yeah, you gotta be semi-patient with these bigger fish. God, we're back and it's still being fought, so. It's taking out some line, huh? Trying, on the tree. He's trying to gain on it. We're right next to a tree, unfortunately. Uh, uh, it's going to be bad news. So Hopefully the fish will go out. You know, that's what we needed to do. Well, just what we didn't want. You're still in the branch, or did I you get... You're a little out? Right no, now. there's... Okay, the fish went so far to the side of the bank down there that uh, got hung up on the branches, but it went out. And that's what we wanted it to do, so. Well, a little bit, as long as it don't get hung up in there. That's a mini disaster right there. When you got on a big fish. Well, the battle's still on, so. Great. I don't think he turned this one. This one just decided to go out. So I uh, lucked out there. So the fish is out. It's about better. Yeah, not all the way yeah, out not there. way out there, but it's out there, much yeah. better, and right next to those branches. So okay, he just said he's gaining on the fish. So um, at least he's right out there in the middle now. Yeah, that's a big fish, man. Oh, that is an oversize. Oh my God, John, that's gigantic. Man, you mean you're big fish. Estimate. We'll take him into that gully I mentioned. Uh, he will be kept in the water. Probably a she, by the way. Okay, we're back with the fish, and uh, <laughs> not too big to measure. I'm going close to eight feet. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, <laughs> it's just gigantic. That's about all I can say. So, wow. Yeah, we're gonna let it rest because it's uh, it's wore out. Had a hell of a battle, huh, John? Yeah, you and it wore us both. Out. You and the fish. That was a good fight. That was the best fight I've had in a long time. Yeah, that is so cool. It's back from a big yeah. fish like this. Right, awesome. right when we're ready to go, too. Yeah. Just gotta love that. Like I said, this is a little levee break here, so um, without this gully, we probably wouldn't even have the fish to be able to look at quite like this. So, um, well, there's a peek at it. And uh, it's, it's absolutely huge. So, um, like I said, we're gonna sit with it, let it rest, and when it recovers, I guess we're gonna be out of here. Yeah. So, okay, well, we're gonna kick it for a little bit with the fish. And if we, you know, we're gonna try and turn it around and watch her swim away, so we'll try and do that. Back, all right. <laughs> What's that? Getting her energy back already. Yeah, she'll be gone soon, so we'll be right back. Okay, he's literally backing the fish up, up into the big water. Uh, it's too big to turn around. He's cooperating. So, yeah, still tired. So again, we're we're gonna still sip this one out, you know, with the fish. So. That's a big breeder. Oh. 
hefty uh, one right there. <laughs> she, she went under on you, huh? Yeah. She's okay, going. that's a good sign. Yeah, she's tugging and moving. She isn't completely yeah. exhausted. I want to think, yeah, I feel her tugging right now. He's gonna release the hook real shortly. We're just letting the fish get energized. We don't want to float it's sideways and get its yeah. you know, equilibrium it's good, on. actually. This fish does want to go. Yep, born free. Just like this, yeah. That's so barbless, wow. That's huge. It's hooked in it twice. Wow, du absolutely. double hook Excellent. with the Kamikatsu Big River Marvelous. Bend. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Short little snout on this uh, stubby yeah. little snout. Yeah, it's definitely a white. I mean, I mean, they say greens Even don't. For a white, they say greens don't get you know over six feet or something, but they can absolutely. This is not a green, of course. Okay, well, I don't know. That's still resting, so we're just gonna wait and hopefully it'll take off and uh, maybe we'll catch it on tape. Still working at it. It's been a couple minutes, but hey, we spent, what, half an hour before with one of them, so whatever it takes. At this point, it's all about the fish, even though we wanna go. We will okay, stay. She went fish down, is so uh, okay. We don't know how far down. Well, it's only like what, four to six feet right here. Yeah, four or five feet right here. Um, that was a good sign. And yeah, she, said, she went down. She was kicking right before, and she was blowing the water in and out a lot harder. So looks like she's getting her strength back. So turned her around, and she just went floating straight down. Might not take off right away, of course. Probably sitting down there, still resting a little bit. But then eventually, she'll mosey on out back into the water again. Yeah, she, she wasn't hurt, no way. No, yeah. Just, just tired. Yeah.